Jarang nyilo domo roka diasa. Boy, jalo sikes rostoran. Eh, saya nak kau beli nak dimbal. Nimba domo roka la jalo. Domo roka seniata, adiata, topo toro fana kenda ma bigi. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo roka jani. Adi manda wala de. Teka we bigi le, anim fana kafa di jang ikono efa. Eka apa minna kau pastry anim bakery. Iko fana beka le. Bad day lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four ten ni lomba dunia kono. Domoro better ma, ni lomba international hotel wada number one. Amangke bad domola janda ma. Esa domo jang, esa taria. Ah, wamu kubandi. Ah, sana na kubu. Esa futendi. Eh, oto sana na kubu be musikas restaurant. Daba na janda mu yad ni manje dorombi jang. Aban. Musikas restaurant, known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal. Hello, and welcome back to the public hearings of the uh, uh, TRRC. Right, before we start our proceedings, just want to uh, observe that... Uh, 16 years ago today, uh, a prominent journalist in the Gambia was murdered. And uh, we have had testimonies here in this um, uh, commission and uh, uh, about that uh, brutal uh, murder in his crime. And uh, we would um, ask our religious leaders um, uh, to pay some tribute and to pray for uh, 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 Teda Hydra and uh, we should keep him in our prayers and uh, our memories. Imam, you have the floor. If you can offer some prayers, please. Thank you, Chairman. Before we get into our normal morning prayers, let's pray for the departed brother of ours who worked so hard in this country and who died a most mysterious death in this country. He deserves to be honored. He deserves to be prayed for. He died suddenly in the most mysterious way. And uh, his family is still here with us. We should remember them and remember him also and all other people who suffered the same fate. This is our world. We have to live it. But then let's pray for the departed souls. All of us in our own ways and then I will close up the prayer after we have finished our 
personal prayers for him and for all the souls of departed persons in this country. Thank you. Bismillah. Allahu allazi ja'ala lakum ulal laqaranan wa samai bina'an wa sawwarakum fa ahsanu suwarakum wa tazak ummi tahibat zalikum allahu rabbukum fa tabaraka allahu rabbul alamin hu alhayu la ilaha illa hu wa faduhu mulisin allahu ad-din alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin rabbana innana amanna faghfir lana zunubana wa qina azaban nar ashabirina wa sadigina wal ghanitina wal munfikina wal mustaghfiruna bil ishar شهد الله أنه لا إله وملائكة وعول الإلم دائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم ربنا عطينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وغينا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون وسلام على المسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا إمام جالو and thank you for those prayers and for ديرا هيدرا and uh, all the victims um, uh, of the uh, regime. Bishop, um, if you can offer some prayers as well, we would appreciate you have the floor, Bishop. Thank you, Chairman. Lord God, Jehovah, the protector, the, pres the preserver and sustainer of all humankind uh, throughout the whole universe, we continue to submit your creation under your divine mercy and your divine love, your divine compassion. And we continue to surrender our proceedings in this place. But we pray by your goodness and mercy, tempers will be put down and that Lord the things that need to be done will be done for the good and benefit of all who live in this land. Today, we remember the late Deida Haidara who died 16 years ago. We continue to ask that of your divine mercy that you do look kindly upon his soul and also look kindly on uh, the family members that he left behind. Continue to guide them, to protect them, to provide for their needs, and also continue to grant uh, them the consolation at this time as they remember their loved one. And we also commit all departed souls, that you grant them your eternal rest. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, um, uh, Bishop Odeko. Council, if we are ready to continue with the same witness um, from yesterday and the day before, please um, uh, proceed. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, we are ready to proceed. Uh, kindly bring in the witness, please. Thank you.
Good morning, Mr. Tamba. Welcome back to the uh, TRRC. Sam, uh, Mr. Tamba, Bismillah, TRRC. Um, yesterday, we finished off talking about uh, the work of the panels and, mm -hmm. uh, and the torches uh, that were meted out on the on the suspects who are being in investigated. Can you recall that? Can you compare the panel of the two panels? I think more than me, I think the two mil is so beautiful. The material men kela compare to the one from Nabala. Yes, council. Uh, yes, uh, council. Obviously, obviously, uh, what happened is regrettable. Uh, considering also that it was a massive violation of the laws of the country uh, to torture individuals and obtain confessions. In view of the esteemed position, very privileged position you held at the time, Lieutenant General, or rank rather, mm. Lieutenant General. Makamo mbete bulwalem Lieutenant General de Makama Sandong Koldi Gambia Banko Kanjango Watola. And position as CDS. And um Palazzo Fana Membe Bulem CDSD. Do you regret what happened during that period? For in Nim Satalaba Menketa or Watola Nje. Council. Lead Council. Deputy Lead Council. Deputy Lead Council. Chairman. Chairman. Commissioners. Commissioners. Executive Secretary. Uh, Executive Secretary. My name Audience. My family members. Um, members of the press. Indeed, I sit before you here. Continue my testimony on the issues that were raised yesterday and to continue on the orders that were not raised yesterday. And I will continue to reaffirm that. I will speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Council, coming back to your question, Council, in any system, bunda wo bunda. in any situation, wo lanya wo lanya. of course, mistakes are bound to be made. No system is perfect. Bunda and once mistakes are made, we accept them and we consign and move on. Because that is the only way we can come together as a country and know that we belong to one family and move on. And in my concluding remarks, certainly I will have the opportunity to express issues that I felt that we are not properly handled. We are not properly executed. And then we will move on as a, as a family. Certainly that will come in my concluding remarks. As I am human, certainly I am not perfect. And of course during the time of my office, I might have made some mistakes. But what is proper for a gentleman is to accept the mistakes that you have done and then make a total submission to Allah and move on. Certainly, that will be figured in my closing remarks. Thank you, Council. Uh, <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Tamba. Mr. Um, Tamba. This is the whole essence of the TRRC. TRRC longunda dumo be munyeti. It is important that we crystallize the facts about what have happened. Okumaya dala purunga to nyabondi kuo la meni alongo wole keda. And we accept responsibility. And dunga song dunola memu keda imari bulu. 
ask for forgiveness. We reconcile as a people. We reunite as a people. And then we refocus our energies on national development. And set and rid us of all those tribal, ethnic, regional bickerings that divide us. So I re echo what you have just said. And, uh, and endorse that statement as the best way forward for Gambia. And thank you very much. Uh, indeed, you, you would make a statement in your closing remarks. Uh, but at this stage, I just take it that you regret the, some of the things that have happened. Uh, during the 2006 investigation. Uh, in the investigation. Sign like I said, Council, in my closing remarks, everything will be in detail. Certainly in 2006, so yeah, 2006, as a member of the panel, when things happen, whether I was directly or indirectly in control, certainly as a member of the panel, certainly certain responsibilities, certainly we are vested on us. Like I said, in my closing remarks, I will of course go in detail, express the shortcomings that I felt that happened, and of course, as I said, as I'm human, during that course, I might have made some mistakes. Certainly, I will make an apology. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tamba. Uh, that is the only honorable thing to do. Mr. Tamba, we run on And thank you once again. Uh, just to conclude the issue of the 2006 Durcham investigation. Uh, I am looking here the statement of uh, Mr. Haidara uh, on the issue of the peer presence of the GRTS. Uh, I recall that you told us that the panel suggested uh, that GRTS be brought in. And you said, of course, that was later approved by President Jamie. Uh, we have this statement from uh, Mr. Haidara. And he said as follows. I had questions were raised about the GRTS video broadcasting of confessions of the suspects of 2006 coup plotters. My recollection to that is as follows. After the panel was almost, was all, almost, was almost ready with all, or most of its findings and statements were already obtained. And every detail about the coup plot was clearly noted. 
kulen bebe stokiri nini kudeta nini na kula watu be londale listen carefully ila mwini haki lola the president one day sent information to the panel nunkili mpresident na rena kibaro ki na panel oro i think via harisambo nani mira okibaro nini nata katani mharisambo leala langtombo langtombo for some state guard personnel and in state guard do kula dulu i cannot remember fully Hakilo mamuta no bakede indicating that ay tandi ko the president wants to send GRTS to broadcast some confessions made by the suspects to the nation president on lafita GRTS kila nan kidin grani to pour ni sedol ni na songo ni na police a fintini television or pour banco molie in his view atela mira loro from his recollection anala hakilo e memura it was the president who decided President wole kango ni tamani wole miro nindi. The GRTS should broadcast the confession. Ko GRTS ni na nala jele kani moli ni muda moli ni na songo ni kafindi ni. Do you do you have anything to say about that? Say do fa yuko masoro la maibeme mfalo ukumoto ba. Also, I believe probably because of the period it has taken. Also, later la akesekeno watu mentam bita akoni kono. Maybe Haida has forgotten the. It's sequence of events. Sikeno haida na nyota kulu bula nyomo Kenya la Karola. I was in the panel at the time. Mimi ndio be panel o kulu lewo tumo. And I think the president could not have sent Harisambu to the panel. Andu mala la presidency Harisambu kina panel o to that purpose. Odali lo kang. When I was already in the panel. Andu wajata na ndio be panel o kulu lefuka pa. All I can remember and I can tell you. This was a suggestion, a proposal by us in the panel. We have this recorded. And also to show to the public about their confessions so that there will be no misconception from the general public that these statements were cooked. Like I said earlier on, the recordings were done at the early stage of the investigation. That was why I did mention to this commission that um, the, the, they did the confession in front of the camera. Without any intimidation. And we are the cylinder man tarekang. I will not reopen the the examination, your testimony uh, about uh, how the confessions were obtained. I think we've extensively uh, dealt with that. The murla wa fanna la la ukuma kama roka muruka wa kwa yele kotenge ngamira ngau male bagafan. Um, so I would now move on to another topic. Silambida fanadola, kaya fanadola. That is the issue of uh, Daba Marena. Walem Daba Marena la kuti. Anko. Ana mo nyu, ana do nyu. Could you tell us uh, about what you know about the arrest of Daba Marena and the things that followed? Until uh, his disappearance. For Isa phone on Kuma phone on you, Daba Marin and Mudoto, and don't call me Mudot Ala Mudon, you know, Kola, for another Anana Yeman Yame. And so it was one early morning, and so Sumanda Juno Lem Lunkiling that I received a call from Commander Soto from one to Multamba, Moyan Commander Kafai to Multamba, and who did tell me, waiting for your call. That Daba Marena, oh, Daba Marena and his group Kafumulu, we have been transported to um, Janjambure prisons from Mile 2 prisons. And that during the process, they had a stopover on the way as they requested to, 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 peace off, to pee off. So he said during that process, they scattered and, and that's how they escaped. That was the message he gave me. And at that moment, my question to him was, why are they not handcuffed? 
And his response was, they were not handcuffed. I questioned him how possible you can transport such a number of detainees. Without been handcuffed. He said that was what they did. Further went on. Say that um, the president has requested that and when president Kaninko, myself at a fango, Harisam, who then the head of the NIA, Harisam, the NIA Usman Sonko, the inspector general of police, Usman Sonko, the police will look into that we should meet and make a press release that effect. Um, but at what stage were they arrested? At, of course, they were arrested following the 21st March aborted coup. How soon into the investigations were they arrested? It was the early part of the investigation. In fact, it happened that some of them didn't even appear before the panel but when the incident happened. Uh, did Daba appear before the panel? Daba Daba Marena traveled with the president to Mortenia. And on his return from Mortenia, some of us never set our eyes on him. So it happened at the early stage of the panel. Did he appear before the panel? No, he never. Uh, Malafikor, did he appear before the panel? I, if I get my memory right, probably Malafikor and, and um, um, Alpha, the Alpha, Alpha Ba. Malafikor and Alpha Ba. If my memory serves me right, they appeared before the panel. Briefly. What do you mean by that? They appeared briefly. You know, Koto Muneti Kafu, if you need a panel on Yatin or what is it? Because with the setup of the panel, panel when, a, when an individual appears before the panel, you are, in, you are, in, you are correction about your, your responsibility in the coup. After you give your explanation, usually either give you your right statement, or we get you back to mile two. To give you more time for you to think over it. So it was within that period. Is it in fact the case that Ban Lafikor was, before his arrest, one of those who, were, who was transporting uh, the, the suspects to the, to the NIA? Certainly. Certainly, he was one of those because at that time, Tonyala at Bell Mole Kurokato Tumola, his involvement in the coup plot wasn't revealed. Narotumo Alataro Kudeta Ferro in Kono, Woman Finti Follow. So he was among those who were escorting the, 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 the people arrested. Before their disappearance, did they make a confession? That is what I've just mentioned, if my memory serves me right. Probably Malafikor and, and Alphaba. Malafikor and Alphaba. They appear before the panel. Defended the panel on Yatimul. Did they make a confession? As far as you can recall. I could recall Alpha Ba. Alpha Ba. Uh, and Alpha Ba. 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 
One day he was with um, the former CDS Nurcham. In the Fajara barracks. Fajara Sojar Kunda. When Nurcham mentioned to, to him about his plan of a coup. So that was why Alfaba was arrested because it's like he did not report it to anybody as the law dictates. How about uh, Manlafi? Manlafi Manlafi's own case also similar to Alphaba. Alphaba la I have knowledge of a coup. Uh, failing to report to a police officer. police A magistrate. Or a minister. Or a minister. Or a superior officer. Or a superior officer. Wala nyatunko. Correct. How about Ibulo? Ibulo no. Ibulo. Sorry. Ibulo at the time, Ibulo Watembo, um, he was in Kanilai. So during the course of the, inter the interrogation with other groupies, that was how his name surfaced there. That um, one of the, the groupies mentioned that Ibulo was, was informed. So he was arrested one week into the investigation. My memory serves me right. Good. Uh, do you know whether he had also made a confession? Ibulo also never appeared before the panel. This is somebody that I know very, very, very well. He was very close to me. You were in, when you we told us yesterday. Yeah, so I even confronted him that the, there was a panel sitting. Your name was being mentioned on several occasions. And you knew that you were a part of it. And yet you, you, you still stayed around. And uh, when you heard that these people had escaped, uh, what happened afterwards? Council, like I earlier on mentioned, um, Tumbul Tamba put to us that. It is myself, Harisambu, and the IG then Usman Sonko. That the president said, we should make a statement to that effect. And hence, it has got to do more with the police. So we converge at the office of the Inspector General of Police at the time who happened to be Usman Sonko. It took us a while before we could reach a conclusion on the text of the press release. And then within that period, certainly, we got a, a call again, this time from the president, who asked us if Tumbul has relayed the message to us. And certainly the response was yes. And that we are on, on the verge of making a statement. But Mr. Tamba, was there a time that you had to go to the president to discuss this? For what in a certain telebang, if you have a telephone, you know that the president of your country will catch up. And so, neither me, and so, a man can tell you, no, Usman Sonko, and a man can Usman Sonko for Nanti, Harisambu, well, Harisambu went to the president, man, sit up, president of your discourse about this issue. Or can you catch up? That is why I mentioned that. Well, I'm not going to focus during our. 
convergence in the Inspector General's office. Well, I mean, to bring the Inspector General's office or That was when he made a call. What will you take, Commander? Okay. Yes. Ah. Um, I have this statement here of Mr. Harisam. Harisam and he says as follows. Nearly a week after I took over as the new acting director general, my predecessor, Mr. Marena, was brought into the office to do the formal handing over. He was escorted by heavily armed soldiers led by the late captains. Musa Jamme and Tumbul Tamba respect. And on Kabiringa bina officer ni nto je ya dandan nange la ndo menu ya dandan nange ni ni njora njaulu ndo meye nyato nka ya wala mu tala Musa Jamme di anin Tumbul Tamba. Upon seeing me, Bri Yenge, he said, Ako, my boss, when I heard that you were taking over here, I was very relieved. Na nyato nko, Bri Nga mwe kwe nati jande, nketa nyato le nyama mea lanko kul talata nkane. And then the statement went on to say that Mr. Marena was then whisked away. Oh, what told them, yeah, Mr. Marena, Adama Marena, yeah, Samba. And then he said, some time later, one morning, I was summoned to the office of the IGP to a meeting of the three service chiefs. Oh, what did you say? I was summoned to a meeting of the three service chiefs. In attendance was also the late Captain Tumbul Tamba. He opened the floor with an announcement. That five prisoners, Ko Kasolanka Monulu, Daba Marena, Abeokono Daba Marena, Manlafikor, Manlafikor, Alfaba, Alfaba, Aliusise, Aliusise, and Ibulo. Aning ali ibulo, we are being driven to Janjambure prison the previous night. Be zamba kanu Janjambure kasoda nu osuro lanu. And along the way, silo kang, they had an accident and the vehicle somersaulted. Inarina kole ya sora ni la moto la moto ni mbusu dun mbusu dunda. In the ensuing confusion, oh hakili jaka soko noje, they fled and escaped. I Janjanda i Borita. Who of my two colleagues, Sonko and Tamba, seemingly, seemingly, expressed surprise and shock. They appeared alarmed and upset at Captain Tamba for being so careless with such a sensitive mission. Captain Tamba, Mahakinotu, I call you Mr. Danko Ron Quality. I call you Mr. Danko Ron Quality. Was His Excellency aware? His Excellency, I call him to learn. How were we going to inform him? Silam bengi ba bengi kibaro furadi no ma na na la manyadi le. The atmosphere in the room was cold and empty. Bungoni kono la alhalo binu nyama be sumaya tanunga fanuta. I was dumbfounded and flabbergasted. Thank you very much. I just sat there thinking how such a thing could have happened without me as head of intelligence not having an inkling of it. Nsiita je njaka lita njimbe keno la nyade kake kundo polisol biela mara nyato nkoti. Njimbe keno la nyade la mma londi sota okoto. Then General Tamba suggested that the three service chiefs should go to State House and inform the President. General Tamba But before that, we should make a joint press statement to the media and, and public, which we did. But Janiwo Nyana Kumakao Kibaro Fintin de la Jamakane Kibar Bundal to Puria Kalamuda. And okay. Is this story true? Funyin kibaro mutuwa yalde ba? Also, part of it is not true. Also, afana dobi jede umanka tuwa yalde. Which part? It is true that myself, 
Ponyala, ndio fomo. Arisambu. Arisambu. Convert in the office of the Inspector General of Police, Usman Sonko. Mbenda Inspector General la Office of the Police la Nyaru Nkote, Usman Sonko. And for Harry to suggest that, Purukunyin kama Harry ye nyin foko, Tumul came to the Inspector General of Police Office. Tumul nata Inspector General la Office of the Police, Deliver that message to us. Kanyin kibaro din to laje, It's not true. Umanke to nyati. Like I mentioned earlier on, Tumbul gave me a phone call. Tumbul yento kumandi telephone ola. Where he first broke the news to me. Dira yin kibaro funi folo folo. And he mentioned that. And dira yin foko. The president said we should converge and make a press release. President oko nse ben na kibaro banke. That was how we met in the inspector general's office. Nyele ya sabu mbenta inspector general. And I mentioned whilst we were there. And dira yin foko mbije tumo me. Tumbul made a call. Tumbul yu kumandi roke kota ke. To see how far we've gone with the press release. Kaya. And later on, and we call the president himself, president of Fango, made a call I to see how far we've gone with the Kapura, press release. Press along, but tembeda juma alto ni kibaro fintin dola. But Harry to suggest that Tumbul came to the panel. But Puru Harry ya foko Tumbul onata je Tumbul onata jele. In point of correction, in the IG's office. Point of correction, yes, IG's office. office, yes. Yes, the panel in the IG's office. Puru kana ma bentel menu be IG la office o kono tumbo. That is not true. It was the three of us. And even if you have the opportunity to talk to Usman Sonko, so he's going to relay the same message that I'm giving here. And also for him to suggest that we went to the state house. Perhaps, perhaps you should allow me to get okay. that far. All right. Because I haven't said that yet. <laughs> you you just point. anticipated it. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He went along, he went on to say Ten -ten -ten -kafo. at State House. State House. Uh, then President Jame received us very coldly asking what all three of us wanted to see him for simultaneously together with the captain. Geldom President Jame Nara na nyini nkaro ke sumayari sumabi sumayari ako muna nandol mosa bo baby na nyini nkaro watu wala jeke anu wo captain onyi. It was then watu wala that Tumbul Tamba narrated the same story what he had earlier on told us at the police headquarters. What will Tumbul Tamba yuko makangu nyimfaye kwa mfu nye nungkoma nto nungkoma nto polisi wala kordabado? Upon hearing this, Blinka ngayimoy, His Excellency went berserk. President, asangarata wano le toje. Rolled his eyes red. And called us a bunch of fools. I am commander Kondel Mutole Kafolet. After ranting at us, Brina Kamfato Bia Mutantulie, His Excellency gave instructions that everything should be done to find the fugitives and bring them to book. I am Kia Marole Dinto Lako. Nilumel Lukanata Teng. Na Ferro for some Nya Besio Nya Matama Ninye Muta, Nye Murundina Nye Lundilua Nyatilula. Patrols should be reinforced and all border posts alert, al al alerted. Kantar la lumen be muru muru na inyanta ulu ulindi la kesembe ntu ya aduna ne bunda aluna ne uluto. Inyanta ulu be mutalale. Then he sent us parking. Mutumu oleng ayam baiji. This is a very graphic description. Council, an mm -hmm. event. Ni mukolo satanya, satanya maneleti me ya longo. It would take. It would take a very brave, a bekela fatia baleti, a meticulous storyteller. Ani moment da kalanta da kalandimo. If this would be a lie, ni mbekela faniati. What do you say? Ida muna falau tu. Council, I say it is a lie. Myself, Usman Sonko, Usman Sonko, Harry Sambu, Harry Sambu. We never went to the state house. Nene manta state house. All I can tell you. Nse me mfono ye. Convert in IG's office that is that was Usman Sonko. Mbenta IG da office oto Usman Sonko. Like I said, and don't laugh on me. It took us a lot of time. I watu I watu tali de. Before we could agree on the text of the press release. Ya nimbe kambe na kumakalo lu kalimu lu menu nyanda fula ukubaro. All the three of us. Ndol mo sabo be. You could not understand. How this whole event happened. We know it, it may not be possible. 
the instructions come from the president. At that time, and then we say we'll move again to his office. Because I didn't mention whilst in the inspector general's office. But then we received a call from the president at that time. We wanted to know how far we've gone with the press release. So the issue of the press release was in fact a directive from the president. Is that your testimony? <coughs> And so, yes, through Tumultama, and whilst we were in the office of the IG, also got a call from the president as well, with ah. respect of the press release. Ha, ah. Tumultama, a follow follow at the IG bar, did not, but between the IG, the office of the two members, the president of the command bureau, the Kanyini, can not be done. In a sense, you were being played by the president to do what he wanted. The president was being played by the president to do what he wanted. To write a story, to write a story, to write a story. Informing the public about something you had no knowledge about. Is that the truth? And so when the president called me whilst in, in the IG's office, what he said to me was, I mean for you, to me give you the message that you should make a press release. On the escape of this people. On the escape of these people. And I responded to him, yes, he gave me the message. And that is why we are in, in the IG's office. We released that press. That was what happened. In a sense, the president was dictating everything from State House. Amunta president or what will come and be the time of State House when I better be coming and be the time of the time. The reason why he called us, uh, uh, let's answer the question, General. Let's answer the question. Uh, you've told us the reason. He yeah. wanted you guys to do a press statement. Uh, so answer the question. The president was running the show from State House. President was running the show from State House. President was State House. He directed you guys to write a press statement he wanted you to write. I can only tell you that you must have a lawyer who knows. Yes, Council. He directed that we make a press release. Ah, Council. I tell you, in California, put on the bar. And let me finish. And through Tumbul Tamba, he told you the story that was to be in the press release. And on Kajarin in Tumbul Tamba, I am not going to file a press release. You are keeping our own in a bekelement. Yes, that they were have been transported and they escaped on the way. Tumbu gave us that that message. Ah, Tonya, la kafu kumbi ni lisamba kanjanja murele i kanata silo kanga kutumbu le afanya nyami. And that pronouncement was be was going to be your own pronouncement and as kankula, service chiefs. O kankula ro njembe kile tefango kala ila kankula ro de tumala menalto lemke i tangu bunda mo le nyarong kuri. Because in making a press release, uh, 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 just answer the question. Uh, it general. was going to be the inspector general of police uh, informs the general public. That is how they made the press releases. And that was how. But, it but, but but this was the making of the three service chiefs: intelligence, police, and an army. But ni mutangko bunda bunda sabu nyarongko la sabu bunda sabu la nyarongko la kamoli. And so simply because the police, they have a format of when making press releases. The police, it is the only thing I remember learning in the Kibar Fasol. So following our meeting, I mean the three services, myself, Harisambo and Usman Sonko. Certainly we told the IGP to take the lead. In, in writing that press release. And that was why it, it, the, the message was the Inspector General of Police informs the general public and then it follows. Well I will follow to moment now for the inspector general member police will be in Kibaro Bankela between the normal. We will take that general. But this was a press release by the three service chiefs, even though it was the inspector general of police who was informed. Yes, Council, with directives from the President. Ah, Council, but I can only put on President of the Carol. That's perfect. But yeah. Did you know how those people died? Yeah, I know, but we will find out. Remember, at that moment, I didn't know. We're not ready, Malo. All right. 
So your involvement in the preparation of that document just lended some credibility to the press release, didn't it? Itila dabulo kibaro nying kono. Wana ata na sababu o kibaro nying anata na kikibari mea alon kwa keta kibari bamba ndi ngoleti. And so when you say credibility, I don't know to who. Kau sini ni ko credibility. Walaum kansah hari malam berjung kansah hari abad di laju mal. The general public. Jamar Rahmano. Because it was the public who was being informed. Katun Jamar Rahmano ibu ada kalau muda dengan kang kibaru ini nang. Yes. If if three service chiefs, intelligence, army, and police would come to the public and inform them of an event. Ninga dera tangko bunda bunda nyatong kah sabah. Polisol, soje polisol, soja rolaning kuno mar polisol pul polisol le nyatong kul. Vesin di la kakma fomo le jamar ukuro. In all likelihood, the public would believe that information to be credible. Kola tanya o nyanya ni nyama jamar ningba kuni kibaro ni thala kuto nyalem. Kansu like I said, the police they have a format in when making press releases. Kansu kwa fumi ni mimi polisi ni la nyale soto ni be kibaro ni fintin la ikani. And when the public hears the press release, aluni njema muli o kibaro mwe. There was nothing in the press release that suggests that. Fente kibaro ni kuno mimi ba itani lako. The DG of the NIA had a sample. NIA only knew him. Had a sample. Neither him nor me. At the minute we enter the door, we are present in the drafting of the press release. At the fifth level, we enter the door. Better work by our staff. So I don't think there will be any connection. And the man we are checking you will be better than you. Between the two of us and the general public. Member better. Member you enter the eastern dilla and in Jama Molo. For them to either believe. We enter the la. Or disbelief. Walla ikala la. Uh, uh, that is a fair comment. Uh, uh, I don't have the press release with me, so uh, we have searched for it. We could not find it. Maybe at some stage we would find it. But you would agree with me that by having the three service chiefs sitting at the office of the IGP and drafting together jointly this press release. Right. Reson na malako ningkiba ningtangko bunda sabo mo la nyatong kol kasi katasi polisi la nyatong kol officeo kono kasi ibesi yekangkilin soro yebeng yeyinkibaro taya safe nyoka. It created. Unar na sababule. For yaya jame. For yaya jame. The person directing all this. Mo la me yalang kwa tala beyinkangol be di kang. That all three of you have accepted this story. For the purposes of public consumption. True or false? And so as the chief of defense staff at the, at the time. Inspector General of Police. Inspector General of Police. Um, and the director general of the NIA. The director general of the NIA. Probably the deputy, probably the CDS. Second or CDS and the Director General of Pol um, NIA. And then Director General member of NIA. So then we take our directives from the President. Actually, was all commander, of you. he was the Commander in Chief. But all three of you did take your directive from the President. Certainly, to, uh, certainly as the Commander in Chief. And at that moment, we had no cause. Not to trust him or to disobey him. Well, uh, my issue, and uh, we would come to that, my issue is that by getting the three service chiefs to sit together and, and write that press release, from his perspective, you are inextricably linked with that press release. You cannot remove yourself from that press release. It, it, it is already tied to your mast. Do you agree? Council. Council. 
I think what's important here is we say that we get our directives from the president. In this case, if the directives were given by the president himself, then we have to act on those directives. Going by what you've just mentioned, if that has any connotation with these directives, then I say yes. Thank you, Mr. Witness. But you participated in writing a press release of about facts that you have no knowledge of. True or false? That is true. However, at that very stage, that early stage of the incident, if the president instructs, certainly I have no cause to doubt him. Because it was at that very day when the incident happened. Did you have reason subsequently to doubt what the president said? Well, I Certainly after that, after the press release, certainly the press release was very clear that anybody with any information you know, as to the whereabouts of these people to report to the nearest police station or military installation. But along the line, certainly as, as a human being, of course with our interactions with people, people stand on, even on the media, people started expressing different views. Some not believing in the press release, because some believing. But you still haven't answered my question. Okay, Council. Down the line, did you receive any information which suggests to you that this was all a lie? Council. Coming to your question, certainly nobody reported to me that it was a lie. But like I said, as I am also human, after a thorough assessment, and even I have said it here, when Tumbul reported to me, my first question to him, how could this have happened? Why are these people not handcuffed? And of course, certainly he said they were not handcuffed. So the reason I asked him that, it was difficult for me to believe that, that such number of security personnel been transferred to another prison center. And, and, yet and, and, yet, and yet they were not handcuffed. That was very difficult for me to understand. And of course, to simplify that, when we are detained at mile two, whenever we appear in the courts, from the mile two to the prison courts, uh, to, the, to the law courts, Usually we are handcuffed. Of course with chain links on our legs. So, so that was why at that time I said it was difficult for me to understand um, um, prisoners being transported to a long distance and never handcuffed. Did you at any stage later learn about the operation that led to the disappearances of these people? And so the answer is no. 
Because the simple truth in being those who should confirm that to us. We are those who are transporting them. So all what we are hearing was taken as speculation. Uh, uh, no, Tamba, uh, this is the Truth Commission. Let's just uh, say things as they are. Uh, let's avoid getting things very nuanced and politically correct. Uh, Mr. Tamba, you have commission already. Na kulu samba nyama meya longo wale be kulu banke la mengeta tuonyati aningkulu tama tanyami. This is not to suggest that you are not speaking the truth, by the way. Nima ita ndiko imanda la tuonyati fokande. That is that is far from what I am suggesting. Ajam fata kumoka ngola nte be mem fokande. But let me put my question. But but kana nini nika aroke kuteke? Do do didn't you at any stage come to learn that this was an operation in fact? For a caller, it organized, a man, organized from state house. It a man na yin fahamu ko, yin muku keri muleti me ya longko ya ko be feuja state house le. Which of which it was only you. Me ya longko it a dam man a service chief. Me mu kanta bunda nyatong kodi was not aware. In member kalama. And so at this point, I would say that me yin fulako. Certainly, I was aggrieved about the whole incident. However, certainly there are certain witnesses. Um, I can say, who might be privileged to such information. Because they were at the state house. I wasn't at the state house. Like I said, I don't want to speculate on issues that I am not very sure of. Anything? Tell us what you were told about conversations in state house about you not being informed or being aware or being involved in the disappearance of these five people. What was saying a funny kulu it uh natala nyadi le kafoko imankuma foye nyim mulu uh la yema la karola mume bonda kalamu mume sobin di mumam fem fem foye a quoto nyim mulu la yema la karola. Council I can say that Council in Sinim Foroko I wish Tumul or Musa Jame were here. Uh, they, 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 Yes, we we accept what Tumbul have told you. Santale, Tumbul ya mimi voe. There is no doubt about that. Yeye kali kufudoro. But, bari. The fact of the matter is. Kuto keso mendi. You had information suggesting that you were deliberately kept out of what was happening. Leading to the disappearances of these individuals. No, 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 no. I did not say ya for janne. I did not say that. I said that you have information explaining the reasons why you were deliberately kept out of what happened with regards to these five uh, disappeared persons. Munta wale ni itani kwa ili kibaro soto le, mle ni itani, ni mulo mulo iye manta nyami ilakona tala nyami, kafuko mukuleti mje alonko, ya kibaro soto le watu soto nta. Council at one time, council watu soto nta. So then it was been rumored. Ni mulo mulo kibaro findi. That these particular people didn't escape. Oh, ni mulo mankana. That they 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 were killed. And of course, when the junglers came to testify before this commission, because I had them mention about that. But that aside, that aside, yes, you must have heard statements made by the president about the fact that 
you were not involved in the process that led to the disappearances of these people. But we don't call her. To me, as a case of following that, come back when we president will make a call. Kafu ko ete kuno. Ida ati je ibuno manta ra kulo kono me ya longo wole ya sababu hani fanya moru filita wala iye manta. Um, if he made such um, statements, um, I may not remember that. General, um, General. Yes, Council. You told me that just about an hour ago. You for your mentor or what killing command? In my office. In the office or call. I'll move on. But in between, these people were killed. In the jungle, the junglers have confessed that they killed them. Junglers solo ya sata ko itelle ni lufa. And the junglers were controlled by the president. Aluni jungler solo ibela ko me president olebulu. Not only. Did they kill these people alone, the five of them, just the five of them? They also killed the president's sister. Together with them, according to the junglers. In all honesty, uh, being a member of the panel who sat there and knew, according to you, that there was no scintilla of evidence against Jabba Marena. Kafu ite fungo tarta o panelo kono ye menu sita panelo toko akweta ko hani sebearo hani aja ba kunto hani miskal jarati mo mansoto daba Marena la kuoldo. How did you feel when you had the jungle sitting here? Not just one, not just two, but three of them, or four of them, sitting here and confessed how they, in cold blood, executed those seven people. Daba Marena, the president's sister, and some woman from one West African country called Julia. How did you feel? Ite akiteye nyadile, yata nyadile. Green, Ibe Siri, Jola Solumwe, a patata for more nanifang, Melube Sita Jang, Ia Sede, a cop, Italy Mulfa, and Ramanda Wola, a president of Barim Musufaje, a new Musu killing member of Mufundula Intelligi Banko, killing Kang, Ika for Musome, Julia, Italy Sontako, Italy or Lubefa. And so I felt disappointed. It was very painful on my side. Simply because if that was the case, Daba Marena was a very close co-worker to me. And one instance when I was the state guards commander, he was, he was posted at the state house. And during Sadawda's regime, I worked with my Daba Marena at the state house. So me and Daba Marena, we were like family friends. So I felt disappointed that somebody who has not yet appeared before the panel shed light on his allegation, against the allegations against him to receive such a treatment. And of course, certainly alongside with the, those other ones, Certainly, I felt very disappointed. And this is something I never expected. Do you condemn their execution? Certainly, in my own you know, self, I condemn it. Certainly, every human being will not accept it. So, certainly, you must condemn it. You said you were disappointed. At who? Whoever might have done it. The jungler said they did it under the instructions of Sheikh Professor His Excellency Yahya Ejeje Jame. 
ya kemen na kalukan ikafu le sheikh professor dr alhaji yahya ejj jamme certainly when they said it here so nya bri ya fo jang i felt disappointed akata nya ji kila tawul tide in who in who i'm coming cancel me as to how it can be possible that ko ase kelo nya di le am you you turn and kill your own sister yemruye fo mo bari musufa and some other people ni mo kota ngolo have not been tried yet me ya long ko mahani kitin di from by court of law and we man lo kitin bu la nyaati lo certainly i felt disappointed by the president def to nya to nya president ngola ko keta nyen jikila te baati and and did you feel disappointed that he used you fo nyen kete jikila te to fanan ko ayete fanan do ko ndile i wouldn't feel disappointed because that never happened for him to use me to ah. to to execute those oh, people. oh oh sorry sorry i i am by no means suggesting that mm -hmm. uh, perhaps i should rephrase the sentence and mm -hmm. make it uh, more complete don't you feel disappointed that he used you in creating his cover up for ni manke jikila teoti ay muna fan itilale wala ye do kundi pour ate aya fan mura nyamen ka fan sudura nyin ko ko Why so coming up with that press release which was a lie? And the Purka Ali Saferin di Wokibaro la me yalo ko kusoto balole. Certainly when I had the testimony of the junglers. To nya to nya bringa junglers so la sede ya ro moy. Undoubtedly I felt disappointed. Ah uh, woken uh, hakil fula tija keta nyen jikila te baati. That what why was the truth not told from the beginning? Ah fo munan na to nya mam fo nun kabrin ko fo lo la we could make that press release. Ya nimbe Wokibaro Safela. Um Thank you very much. Uh, I'll leave that issue. Uh, but perhaps maybe in just fairness to you, I should not uh, let other stories that are out there uh, not put to you for you to respond to them. Because not necessarily hearsay, but allegations that are out there. Amanda nyi na ka foko moy la moy kuma lem bare bitum kuma lem men ke tatu muri kawulti because we have to try to establish the historical record ka tum be men ka takam wolem ka kuma kawulu soto tariko la karola men mu kuma soto rewuluti men no tilinta ndum to nyalem it's been suggested that you reported and nyi fota ko e telephone ni kibaro di daba marena on the allegation that he was involved in the coup What do you say to that? Ni mfamu fatale molu ya foko itele fango ye daba mare na ko wa nyari ka foko adabe nyin kudeta kono le. I raise this issue because we want to get the record straight. Ni aje na nyin ko wulindi leftele na kumo koima soto mem muto nyati. And so I want to inform this commission. And so left any for the commission yon ko that it is not true. Ko nyin te to nyati that I raised the issue ko ndela nga nyin ko wulindi of marena's involvement ka foko marena dabe o ko ko no le the president ka fo president we marena left with the president to Ma tenia marena ni president le tata murtani and there was no any communication between me and marena adu choki nyola man so to tenim marena tema and me and the president never talked even you know about marena's involvement adu ndela ni nim president mo ko fo marena la taro nyin ko ko marena's involvement was discussed in mortenia i understand Na mem faham wala min ndiko ka fo marena dabiye yo kacha murtani je when they return back bri murutana marena somebody told me that marena explained to him that the president was angry with him there mo soton tam men ko nyen ko president wa kam fata kam ba ke je murtani that they were not talking kan fo e man dia mu nyoye ba dia mu nyoye and of course the president have access to talk to many people and the president is slow soto ka dia mu mo jamaaye during our sittings at the panel during the sitting panel to wato men is of marena's involvement marena la taro ko lu ko no never so face in our panel among akumo mom fo fangante law panel but even made mention of marena mahani marena la kumo fo fo je fere you can go through the records go through all the panelists ici a kuma sa fere no be djube no le men ke ta panel to wala panel to men be sirin je nobody will ever tell you that marena's issue came to the panel mo clinta fole marena la ko fata panel to je le so i i disagree with that solution man so ya kuma kawula we would proceed me tenten na now let's move to your let's move to kambai i promise that we would raise it 
In the army, you have a procedure for dealing with uh, crimes. Committed by members of the force. Correct. And you have the military police whose responsibility it is to investigate such violations. Correct. In fact, uh, the soldiers don't even allow the police to interfere in crimes committed by uh, the military, especially military crimes. Uh, they are dealt with internally. Soldier will fall because some poor police will hear that bullet. Soldier damal lo kulo mi menke. It will damal fall like a tofutono ifa wey. True. Oya. Oya. Sam Kambai. Sam Kambai. Soldier serving in Farafenye. Do you recall that? Soldier will me along with the local and Farafenye. For example, if you mutano lebang. At one time, probably he might. Be. Ah, what is it on Asekelo Abeje? Because I cannot keep record of all soldiers' area of posting. Uh, that is very fair. Uh, we received information that Sam Kambai was brought to the military headquarters. Skibaro Sodoko in Sam Kambai and the soldier of Kordabaro upon suspicion that uh, he committed an offence. And as CDS, you directed that he be taken to the NIA for investigations and interrogations. Is that true? But you had your own internal procedures. Dealing with such matters, didn't you? CDS. The CDS reports CDS and takes directives from the commander in chief. Who was, who was that person? At the time it was certainly Yaya So what happened in this instance with Kambai? The missing came from the Commander in chief. Let's, let's, let, let, let's forget about titles. Let's let's mention individuals. So you mean let me drop the commander in chief? Yes, let's mention names. And, and uh, we can't be referring to just titles, titles. Titles are attached to individuals and names. We know the individuals, just mention the individuals. Yeah, we are military, you know, you know we, 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 we move on with, with titles. Uh, uh, okay, mention the name and the title, for clarity. Okay. Um, the Commander-in-Chief and Head of State at the time. My Certainly had a case reported to him. Who was that person? Let's juxtapose all these titles with names. Okay, Yahya Jame. Yahya Jame. Proceed. Okay. Okay, I got information message from him. That um, some rebel faction groups rebel were arrested. And taken to the NI. And during the interrogation, gathered information that Sam Kambai was among the personnel who were selling some explosives. That, that faction group. So that was how I was asked to surrender Cham, uh, um, Sam Kambai. 
Wanyalem ya fanya kuna samkamba idini di NIA kuna di NIA wala because those individuals karumulu those um, jakai MFDC group wo jakai MFDC rebel kafumulu were already arrested in connection of that allegation wo yatara yewlu mutale de wo tumiro kan and they were been detained at the NIA and wo tumulu fanal be toko no NIA so on the basis of that command kan kan you from yaya jami mbona yaya jami ko bunu you surrender your elements to the nia inata ne yedo kula ta yadi nia na certain i surrender um sam kambay to the nia to nyan na sam kambay di nia wala on the proper military procedure yi da da sojar kunda do ila silo tamandir bulol do Shouldn't there have been an internal investigations within the army? Ko kis kisiro manya na ka ka ken muso yar kunda fa ngoto kono je da mal kono je ba. I was made to understand that. Bari ye nyile ke ye nyile fonte pour na fahamu ko. There was a panel. Panel obi jele. Already been set up. The men prendi including the um, the police and the NIA. And the police ning NIA molu be panel. So the directives were andu ya marulu men na to wala min diko han sam han do wat sam kambay do do sam kambay di to that particular group ko kafo molula i understand all that o be famle but my question remains na nyinin karo sa men sabade hanin kabi wala on the normal procedures regular procedures silo men nyanta ka ke silo do ka tribula silo do normal Shouldn't some come by have been investigated by the army first for some come by anything is done some come by imanya na ka kis kis soyar kundal do folo ke jannu kudo be kala folo certainly council yes to nyala council and uh, the rule of law the rules in the military required that that should have been done sartoon tamandiri bulol way mem fo sojar kunda do way mem fo wala nyindi ko wala nyanna kake that is correct motu reality for that same military bari sojar bunda kini falls under the commander in chief o falam be be commander in chief la kamala ko that does not mean that every order is lawful o man o man nyin ko koto man ke nyindi ko ka fo ko ka wo kan woni o do need loi tatale you that agree is, that is true motu reality and this was one unlawful order amunda o nyim mo kan nyimbe kan won kono meyala ko kan luwanta yala correct to nya and with that unlawful order sam kambay was surrendered to the nia won wo ko luwanta ya kan kan sam kambay na rana di nia satende to nyala we received information from bobaji na kibaro so do ka bobaji bulu who took him to the nia meyala ko ata fan ko ni mo la ya samba nia but we would get to that but in the futala we dingira let me take a step back but nga muru ko ma do mandi where you told where the explosive sam kambay was peddling uh where they came from for yeah for in the bang sam kambay ya to mi mi fetam fengol mi jorangol men la for ya for ne bota min dole ba yes um probably i may not remember exactly but it is between yundu and farafenya ha ah, asekano hakilo tamu tala kende kende kene bari abe yundu ni farafenya tema asekot a cds bala men etela mu sojaro la kundon godi every missing ammunition e jora wo jora me alon ko afilita should be reported to you by the quartermaster etele nyando ko nyi nyana tala bolele etele ya kuma la men etela mu nyaton godi certainly mm -hmm. Onya did you receive any report of missing ammo for missing yeah, explosives for from Kida Farafenye or Yindo for Kibaro sotale banka foko fetem fenne filita ba warando foki di de fini gidi le filita banka bo Yindo warando Farafenye I did not ani but here you are told that is silang afela iko eko that your element o ila do kula memu la soja roti has sold explosives ko ay fetem fengola wafi some rebel group outside the country ay sur fetem fengota wafi kafo do me alon ko rebelo lem bandala banko kan which we are taking from one of your armories ko ay mem fo ko yow bondi la kidi mab joran mabu dulaldo at the time in which you had no report wati la me alon ko ma hani report sota ko do that's your ammunition 
or explosives were missing. Ko ila fedal fen na filita ba warando ila kin lijora na filita. Yes, counsel, that is possible. Counsel, what's it can only? We as human beings. In our own settlements, our certain properties can get missing. So to find the local, we may not discover that on time. It is a long, long journey until at a later date you come to discover that. And for not at a far metal of that was why when they requested, we are not bringing in canning. Then we handed over some kambai to them. For them to mount the investigation of whatever they were doing. Did you order an audit of your armory? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, but only these storekeepers were notified. My question is not whether you have notified. My question is whether you have ordered an audit of your armories. Makmininkaromanganyanikabokomembemaranimangasinolangaokanyekalamudanle.Nanyininkaromentuolemintikofo.Briyomwefeinatanakangodilebampuru.Mangasinoanyipurukaje.Kontiboba. Certainly, notification leads to investigation for them to investigate and see whether they have anything missing. Did you receive any report that any of your ordinances were missing? Po inarna report o sura leban kai tandiko ila joarang ol fence ron tajala memfilida. Of the type, Wambai was alleged to have been peddling at the to the Kazamas rebels. So what all? Kafuko kambai wosifa ime ya tumi mensifa lo uko fosifa filte ita la mguana lo kono ba ko ai abe me wafika ni rebelo ma kasa masi. Certainly, even before that, the panel contacted us. Hello, fomo jali ni fomo beke la panel lo ni yentelu kumandi le. To ascertain whether we have some miss, missing ordnance. And you think our phone, the journal we sort on tele me no fill it up bang. And of course, um, the the ordnance um people. And on Tonya, let me know what the journal will do. Made a thorough inventory check. It has a cool jube, the journal will do so. The cool be tempered as you may. It was found not to be missing. And on that, I will confirm my feeling. At a time when Kambai was already so brutally tortured. What let me hear long ago, Kambai? What were you at? Did they have backed? I'm hearing that from you. I've told you from the beginning that you had that from Bobaji, you had that from Kambai. Yo, my Bobaji la, si ta jana yo foya my Kambai fangola la. I am just bringing out the evidence. Se le aro di nam fara rumbo la findi ndi kang. Anso, I'm hearing that from you. What evidence do you have that I watched the proceedings that day? I don't follow the proceedings every day. Sometimes I'm I'm tied up. Amunta, kumu mo lumfana kadi tele mbuka bula kuli mo mo wala kebela mo. All right, let's put it straight. This is evidence from Kambai and from Bobaji that Kambai was so brutally tortured. Nimu kuma kandi mea langu abo abora abora Bobaji le bulu aning Kambai fa ngoko Boba e Kambai ya tajire ya baki ne. In fact, according to Kambai, anu Kambai e kabo atela kuma kando. He said that. Almost there was almost this unanimous view at Mile Two Prison that he was the most tortured military personnel during that time. And when you for the court tempo, some come by. So you are looking for the name in Tajiria. At the time, the minute I bet you the name in Tajiria, so you are looking. I have no cause to deny that. Ah, no cause also no. Because I wasn't there. I don't deny no. So if that if if the system had worked well. Ning ayatara kulu lanya tamata nung anyama. According to law. Kwa lua ya fonyami. Would Kambai have suffered that? Kwa wabekela Kambai na lulumbangu? Certainly he wouldn't have. Onyala watakelala. Do you think that it was fair to Kambai? Kwa du mmenketa Kambai la wanya kulu mmenya. To have been taken to the NIA. Where it was almost certain that he would be brutalized, even before an audit was done of your stores to determine whether, in fact, anything was missing. Uka samba NIA kata tajiri ya wanya si wanya ma hani wajata la fang hani pfu imahani itela mangasino fongo kundi bo kaju be fufu mbotaje fufu mamboje. It wouldn't have been fair if at all. 
at a kero la kutuli ndi mtide ni ayatara i had a prior knowledge that he will be tortured nathara na lolo soto ni juna ko iba tajire yalale general it was common knowledge in this country general ni mulo ni sabate ngol ti nyimbangu nga even high school kids if you ask them ani din ni ngol membe karam mbaro ni nyi nga where was the torture chamber of gambia everybody would say nia gambia la tajire tajire ya mumba dingira mindole ba fole nia in view of that it was reasonably foreseeable and wo kata ko ni anon ko senate la lankira mata that anybody mo mo who was sent to the nia e men ki nia which allegations of betrayal of the state to miro la ka foko way banko le jamfa or allegations of threats to yaya jamis government waranda to miro la ka foko ay yaya jamis masakunda ay wala maslang you would most likely be tortured asikero ni o nya baye nyaata woto don foy si tagire ya most likely asik jama jama in that context it was reasonably foreseeable Council, I'm happy that you used the word probably. I said reasonably foreseeable. Probably, you used the word probably reasonably foreseeable. Focus on reasonably foreseeable. So that is why I'm happy you used the word probably. Well, hence it is it's a probability. The same applies to me. I was not, you know, I, I saw that he will be tortured. The first day he was surrendered to the NIA. Num folo menna ya di NIA la. Your director of intelligence. Ilam nyaato ko me mata kullo mara nyaala. So that he was badly tortured. Fo ngo nyaaya je ko waato menna nyaaya je waato menna waato ya tajire ya bakela al halo be jawi yarim bakela. Are you aware of that? Fo yow kala mudal. That very to first torture I was not but later the director was able to brief me about what was happening there and certainly i intervened to address that situation by talking to the man in chai directly and who was that and i reminded the the the, 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 the person in charge who was that who did you talk to Council, I cannot even remember who was the director general. This, it was a long time. But you, you, you must remember, remember who you spoke to. Even if you don't remember the director general, you will remember who you spoke to. Council, I don't want to speculate. There were many director generals. But there so would be any whose time, whose time it was, I cannot remember. General, this would not be about speculation. This is about telling us who you spoke to. It would be speculation if you are asked who was the DG at what time. Then you would be speculating, but this is a life experience. You spoke to a particular person. You should be able to remember who you spoke to. Council, that is my testimony. I cannot remember who the person was at the time. We move on. And what did you do to intervene? That we receive reports of some come by being tortured. And of course, I expressed my dismay on that. And was giving the assurance that he'll put a stop to that. You sent Sam Kambai to the NIA. It is Sam Kambai key NIA. At the direction of Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame la Kamokang. Correct. Correct. And those at the NIA were working under the directive of Yaya Jamie. And it was reasonably foreseeable there was a big probability that Sam Kambai would be tortured. Correct? And as a kernel, when you move the court, you must be in the court. What was Sam Kambai called me for time? Now for the day, but I did not hear that. It's not correct because I was not assault. I was not assault, and I never had such an experience of sending a soldier there and being tortured. But I mean, it was generally known. It was notorious information that the NIA was a torture chamber. But in the NIA. But I, I, I cannot confirm that a serving member of the armed forces can be there and tortured.
bari ndenyi mtonya ya ndilo la utumo kwa mwememu soja rota abedu kuko no isio sambaje ya tata jire that was a surprise to me akitanya tele makuolet well with the knowledge that this place was a torture chamber wato nini mwe nini londo soto kwa nini nkira muta jire kundaleti and you learn that your element was tortured and you have for not any kibaro soto kwa ila mwulu soto ntare menu tajire ya Did you make an effort to remove him from their authority from their from from uh, from their control fo inara na kada kolo fere le bampur ka bondi e law maroko e maroko to jeba and so before cham um, before sam kambas um detention at the nia that was the day before sam kambai fo mutala nia i never received such information nena ma nyinyo kibaro soto that suggests that men sinyi itandi ko nia was a Toto chamba. Amunta tajire kunaba hasa experience. Do you recall the year? Do you recall the year? Yeah, kilo si sangu ni mutano la ba. No, I cannot recall the year. Even by 2005. Andi ngata 2005 lem. The UN has produced reports showing that the NIA was almost a torture chamber. UN bangu dunia bela wakafubani ona na reporto findi le kaita ndiko na na ela di korda ba ni mudingira timi alongo tajire dingira le korda ba lam we accept it or not insonta la wanda mansonga la we agree to have knowledge it or knowledge of it or not na londo sora da wanda malondi sora ye this was a notorious fact quote unquote it was generally known alonda dingira ni londa wale la if that is what the UN suggests. Let it be. Uh, what I, what, what, what I said. What, what I general, said. But I'm general. coming. I'm coming. Allow me to learn. What, what, what I said here is. I never expected that. Serving member. member the armed forces. Could be tortured at the NIA. But, but general that is so not the case. General Roman ke kuoti. So it became a surprise. Became a surprise to me. But just it before, it just it before it. you were CDS, you But were there and you saw wholesale tortures happening at the. Ani jani bi kala sojaro lak nyaron kuoti. Ina nta ra jele ya jele taji taji re ya me be kering jero. Or you knew about the wholesale tortures that were happening there. Waranda ya lo ne kuoti me be be kering jero taji re ya la karola jero. of serving mem of 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 members of the Gambia National Army mola mi alon ko do ko na sojar kundaro council council i think that is not a correct statement na me radio manke kuma telindinuti i've never known any serving member of the armed forces nena ma am e sojaro ko no mo me yalon ko ne ne sotonta we were tortured ya men tajire ya how about firing i came to i'm coming i came to get knowledge of that not a londo soto wato all in those that were arrested in the abortive coup of 2006 akara wato me melu muda bring 2006 coup d'etat when firing brought it to my attention bring fari ya kibaru so i never expected that wala me nena ma jiki ni nako that sam kambai will be will be tortured like that Because he was arrested in connection of a coup. But, but I can not also conclude that. But, uh, but Mr. Tamba, Mr. Uh, Tamba, said during your time at the panel. What were the panel or? It was established clearly that you had knowledge that tortures were going on. Sabati tala sana yata fanango kwa ilondo zoro loko tajiri ya bikiiri nini? Also, if you want to take me back to what we talked about, just a moment, just a moment. I'm not going back to that. I'm just. Mantera muru kanga kwa madde. And these people were soldiers. Na nini ni musoja role? Even though theirs was in connection with a coup d'état. Ninga tala choki nyoro beje mmo coup d'état kuodi. The fact is. Tonya momenti. Soldiers who went to NIA, so they are all men who are NIA. We are tortured. Yeah, that's the reality. So it it is reasonably foreseeable, therefore. Rahanin kabi ad kusabati balola kusabati le manu kusi jere 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 jeta. By sending Sam Kambai there, he too may be tortured. Sam Kambai kiji adafanang isikeno ya that's the reality. And so I disagree with that. That was never always the case. I was sent to the NIA. And I was in torture. So that theory suggests that any soldier sent to the NIA was in hold. So I don't know if I can Well noted. Thank you very much. Um, I have 
overrun the time by far. Yeah, My yeah. apologies, Mr. Chair. No, I told him, Hackett will chairman. Indeed, Emma. Thank you very much, Emma. We will take a 30 minute break and come back at 12.45. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more.
Find us at Kololi New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station. Or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.